Welcome to Odin Battle Report, where we take a closer look at the thrilling highlights from the top 16 eliminations of Ragnarok Origin Odin Cup. The top 16 elimination round takes place over two days, where the top 16 guilds from each server will be competing for a spot in the top 8. The opening match began with Seko Teng against Wufmaru. Seko Teng didn't stay idle and dominated the matchup. Wufmaru continued to struggle to contain Seko Teng's attacks on the primary and secondary battlefield. Their morale was just too far behind. Seko Teng managed to defeat Wolf Maru 2-0 and advanced to the quarterfinals. Seko Teng sh showing us why they are indeed here at the top 16. We're currently sh uh, showing us dominance. They're spawn camping Wolf Maru. It's not looking good. The second match featured Alt 4 against Wifeout. From the beginning of the match, Wifeout could only secure one tablet. However, it was immediately taken back by Alt 4. Alt 4's victory became absolute after successfully obtaining the Al Baron. Alt 4 won the match with a score of 2 0. What a complete domination. Here, and it's just an onslaught coming from Alt F4. It's just a complete aggression coming from it. The third match brought together Legends and NOXs. The strength of Legends was unquestionable. Legends dominate the course of the match. NOXs couldn't make a breakthrough in the main battlefield and secondary battlefield. Legends advanced to the next round with tiny morale reduction in both first and second match. It's it's a very crucial part where if you can uh, like show a glimpse of the strategy that you're planning to do on the top eight. The last match of the first day concluded with Rugpull facing off against Vapecon. In the early stage, the battle was quite evenly matched. The battle continues in fierce exchange of tablets. Vapecon switched strategies quite often but still lagged behind in terms of morale. Rugpull end the match winning 2-0, advancing to top 8. This one, Hiroshima or Thermal Wing. The first match on the second day began with Ryze facing off against Zenith. Ryze dominated by securing three tablets at once. Meanwhile, Zenith failed to reclaim tablets from Ryze. Ryze's advantage on the secondary battlefield made it a lot easier for them to accumulate points on the main battlefield. Ryze dominated until the end of the match and won the round eliminating Zenith from the competition. Here, and oh. uh, no stack here, Numas are up and running, and that's it. The second match featured Aods against Solaria. Solaria continued to make efforts to capture tablets from Aods, but unfortunately, Aods was able to repel those attempts. Aods keeps dominating the match, taking advantage tablet control and fix from secondary battlefield. Aods closed out the second round with a score of 2-0. Wow. is down, Grims is down, and it's just so in the third match between Home and On the Fan, Home initially captured three tablets and dominated the secondary battlefield, securing a 1 0 victory. The second round mirrored the first, with Home maintaining control and winning 2 0, securing their spot in the quarterfinals. Against Home, I'm just gonna make them, you know, run or something. In the round of 16, Radicals faced off against Greedy Thailand in an intense match. In the first round, Radicals initially secured three tablets but Greedy Thailand retaliated by capturing the Moon Tablet. Despite Greedy Thailand's impressive performance on the main battlefield, Radicals won the round due to their lead on the secondary battlefield and managed to steal Al Baron. The second round Greedy Thailand taking an early lead with two tablets, but Radicals fought back, maintaining their morale advantage. Greedy Thailand's victory in this round was thanks to securing the Al Baron and causing a significant health drop for Radicals, leading to their loss. In the third round, Greedy Thailand again controlled two tablets and battled fiercely for control. Despite a large morale point difference, Greedy Thailand managed to equalize the points and secured the Al Baron once more, ultimately winning the match 3 to 1. Be a huge problem from Radicals. To conclude last weekend matches, here are all the guilds that have secured a spot in the top 8 elimination round. Who will be crowned as the best guild in Rune Midgard? Stay tuned to Odin Battle Report for the latest updates and in-depth coverage of this epic tournament.